Welcome back to another episode of the Fraud in Our Zone. In today's episode, I am sorry to present to you a forwarder named Christopher Minkler. <laughs> Don't worry, I did not dox him. That's his channel name. You will learn in this video that he is a 50-year-old unemployed roofer from New Jersey. You will also learn that his life is so sad and pathetic that he gets a kick out of harassing people with jobs while acting like a degenerate mental patient. This degenerate learns the meaning of the saying to F around and find out when his long tirade of insults, curses, and harassment finally leads to an arrest for disorderly conduct here in the, the Fart of Arizona. Arizona. Boy, walking up that hill. Cuckoo! Mer? That's crazy. Oh. That was okay to do a workout. Yeah, I needed to look at me. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. I'm a roofer too, so. I'm sorry? I'm a roofer, so. Oh, you, oh, you uh, work on roof? Yeah. Oh, you can't do that. I'm scared of heights. Ooh. I worked for PSC&G like 30 years ago, but I couldn't stand around. There's too much standing around. Yes, EG. Way too much. What department did you work in? I was in Oakland. Gas. Gas? Yeah. Too much standing around. Way too much. That means you weren't doing your job. I, yeah, I was. Well, you're not doing your job if you're standing around. What are you doing? I'm what? a machine operator. I did my job. <laughs> okay. Those guys barely had to grab a shovel. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah you're a good crew. Yeah. I was only there, I couldn't afford it. I just bought a house and then I got into PS and G my uh my in-law got me in. Yeah, who? De Rosa. De Rosa? Yeah, he was out of there by the time he was out of there when I started. But he got me the job there and I was working roofing and making you know 15 bucks an hour and then I went to PS and G making seven fifty. Yeah. I couldn't afford my house, so I had to Here leave. That. Huh? Like 30 years ago? Yeah, it was like 93, 95. It's too bad because you would have had a pension. Oh, yeah. You probably would have been getting like $70,000. Yeah, but I didn't. I had full medical benefit. I understand that, but I have to move. I have to work. You know what I mean? That's why, hence, I'm a roofer. How yeah. old are you? 50. Yeah. You're the same age as me. Yeah. I'm yeah. So I, I, I got a late start, though. I started 34. I could have had two pensions by now. I could have had PS and G and went to UPS, but yeah. I can't work for somebody who's like just horrible. You know, I couldn't take money from people. That's the same exact reason why I wouldn't be a police officer. You know, that's just taking money from people. Yeah. I can't be a servant. He can't be a servant means he isn't capable of hard work that benefits society. Nope, he'd rather just stand there and film people who do work. He's calling you a servant. He is, he's a public servant. You didn't know that? I don't really look at it that way. Well, you should, because they work for us. What's that? I look at it as law enforcement. Law enforcement, you know why law enforcement was started? Do you? Well, it's here. Slavery. They went out and caught slaves, brought them back to the homeowners and killed them. Right, but that's not what it's for now. No? Well, what's it for now? For law enforcement. Protect and serve. That's right. Who's he protecting right now? Us. From what? Profit. Really? Yeah. Okay. Looks like a waste of money to me. That's why OSHA's here. You guys should know it by heart. We do know it. Okay, so then why do you need a cop if you know why do you need a cop if you know security? That's why we need traffic control. You stick a teenager out here. 
I can have an 18 year old doing what he's doing. Maybe an 18 year old could do what the officer is currently doing, but I'm sure that you, Christopher, not only can't, but wouldn't, because that would require you to have a J O B. Laugh until they put you in cuffs. Why would they put me in cuffs? That's what I thought too. Yeah, disorderly conduct for just what I'm doing right now. Guess who won? Me. Oh, yeah? It was unconstitutional. They couldn't prove it. I was on tape. They arrested me for being on tape, doing nothing. Until it happens to you, then you'll 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 mark take that smirk off your face. Why am I not to smile? No, you can do what you want, but it, if you got arrested, you wouldn't smirk yeah. like that. I don't. You can't work for PSEG with a record. You can't work for PSEG with a record. Because I worked there, you dummy. Oh, now I'm a dummy? Yeah. You want to talk? I can say whatever I want, bro. I'm not you can. Okay. Well, I can't call you a dummy. Exactly. Well, if you don't like it, shut up and do your work. Uh, I'm on an easement. Shut up. I don't care. Listen, I'm 50 years old. I'm okay. I'm okay. I don't need a warning. I don't need directives. I've been around 50 years and I'm still here. That's a blessing. That's good. Absolutely. It's not flammable. I don't know anything about this. Well, there you go. Ask questions then. You should be sitting in your car learning it. If you're freaking out here, freaking protecting them, you should know all about it. And if you, if you don't know the amendments, you should be looking it up on your phone. Correct me if I'm wrong, but did he just say it wasn't flammable? And when the officer said he doesn't know anything about it, he responded with how the officer should learn the amendments? I don't make the connection. If you understand it, then please explain the connection in the comments below. You don't even know the third, first, or fourth. Stupid. I couldn't just be a freaking, oh, let me dig some dirt and sit around for eight hours. Like that's a job dig dirt and then you get to sit around and do nothing right wait eight hours and cover up the hole whoa why don't you leave go dig another hole somewhere go ahead get the supervisor up here who's who's the supervisor i hope it's kelly that's the little Coo -coo. that tried to that arrested me for disorderly in front of my own house. Am I being disorderly? No, it's a physical act. You know that, right? You know disorderly is a physical act, right? Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. Let's take a look at the disorderly conduct statute in New Jersey, which the officer will politely point out right before he arrests this dumbass later in the video. Offensive language. A person is guilty of a petty, disorderly person's offense if, in a public place, and with purpose to offend the sensibilities of a hearer or in reckless disregard of the probability of so doing, he addresses unreasonably loud and offensively coarse or abusive language given the circumstances of the person present and the setting of the utterance to any person present. I rest my case. Right? That you can't just jump out of a car and say, hey, you're being arrested for disorderly. You know that, right? Tyrant, he's a tyrant. He don't answer questions. Fucking hey, like tyrants. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. Jimmy's here. Another guy doing nothing. Yeah, you do. 
At least you know what's going on down there in the hole. Only one working. All this equipment, one guy working. <laughs> Not sorry, I'm on public easement, dummy. Don't try to tell the cop what to do. I know his job better than what he does. So you might as well talk to me instead of him. He ain't doing shit. So shut up and do your job. It's physical. It, it's, I gotta be physically stopping you. I know, but you need to get out of my work zone. I'm not in your work. Tape it off. All right, come on. Tape it off. It's the only way you get me out of here. Tape it off. Have the cop do his job. Just show me where you're putting the tape and I'll move. Just so you know, though, I'm on public property right here. So you better cover this whole Cuckoo. shit. You better wrap this whole house. I ain't fishing for shit. I want you guys to do your job. And I want this guy to do his job. You know, I came up to him. He doesn't even know the first, third, or fourth amendment. And he's a new guy. And he's trained by the guy who fucking arrested me for disorderly conduct. Who trained him? Who doesn't know the first, fourth, or fifth amendments? And now you guys are going to learn it. I'm training everybody here and teaching you all. First amendment, freedom of speech, freedom of religion. Get it? Second amendment, right to bear arms. And you know you can conceal carry now in New Jersey? And you know you lose your qualified immunity if you try to arrest me right now? What the hell are you talking about? Third Amendment. No soldiers in my house. That was for back in the 1800s, Civil War. We don't really need it now, but they never took it out. You have to amend an amendment to get rid of it. Let me see. Yeah, okay. Live gas. 30, right? 30 feet, right? Yeah. Out, Why aren't you guys moving? I'm, I'm going to be safe. Okay, I'm safe. Uh, I'm on public property. Shut your mouth. Oh, well, you can call the office now. I can't work. Got a guy out here. Why isn't the officer back 300 feet? Or that other guy that's next to the officer, dum-dum? That's what I thought. I worked for PSE&G. There was cars driving by every day when I opened the gas line. I don't give a what they are now. They don't apply to me, they apply to you. <coughs> you guys should just keep your mouth shut and work. Just work. Hey, you're not 300 feet back, guys. More. More. That's about 100. More. Oh, there's the supervisor. Who is it? Gusman. No. This guy. I can swear at anybody I want. You can? <laughs> Don't think so. Hey, what's up, bud? How we doing? Good. 
No, I'm all right right here. What's, what's, the, what's the deal? What's going on? Um, first of all, I come up here. Uh, who's on to, are you, uh, you're corporal? Yes, sir. I've talked to you a million times. Yeah, I know. Oh. Cuckoo. Yeah, I talk, yeah, I have trouble with all these. Cuckoo. At this point, the very patient officer talks to the foreigner for quite a while, trying to get his attention away from the workers. I'll move ahead to when the officer asks the foreigner to just leave the workers alone. <laughs> I know. You're, I know what you're allowed to do. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. If it's bothering them, mm -hmm. then you just let them do their job. <laughs> so you're going to stand here all day? Um, until they go back to work and you leave. Okay. And then I'll leave so on my own accord when okay. I want. Okay. Okay? So That's they, my word. Okay. So if they go back to work, I shut bounce. their freaking mouth. You bounce. I'll stay and, and they'll know that you didn't make me go. He's not making me go. No. And then I'll think about leaving. See how that works? How am I stopping a job? You guys are so stupid. That's stupid. That's crybabies right here. Look at these little cuckoos. Okay. Wow. All right, Chris. I hear you. I'm going to go talk to him. I'm going to go talk to him. And I'm going to bounce, all right? Yeah. Take care, bro. Can I shake your hand? Take care, bro. <laughs> He's not making me leave Cuckoo. or shut up. This is a learning curve for you. I'm not a bad person. I'm just Cuckoo. around. Stupid that is. <laughs> exactly. Please educate him. I'll be here again if you don't finish the job. I'm not working for a month. I'm on unemployment. <laughs> <laughs> tough guy with a neck tattoo look at him so tough like, you know you ain't tough you will cuckoo call two men with guns to come protect you you cuckoo <laughs> who calls a man to help them with a gun what man i would never call a man with a gun to help me i take care of that shit I, I don't, because I don't, what they were saying to me. Because no. they're trying to get. Like, me. I don't care when you bother no, up. No, no, I understand. I'm the listen. listen. Cool, cool. What they do? Want me to leave? Oh. Now if they just sat there and stayed cool, cool. silent. Oh. Well, cool, cool. Cool. but you see what I did? I would have left. You, you see? I, I did. Yeah, well, you told them. Okay. You told them. They know I can be here. That's as it. As long as, like I said, I have the right to film. I, I have the freedom of speech. Just stay out of their work zone. Yeah, like absolutely. If that's, where, what's work zone? Work zone, like, I'm going to, I, I will tell you right should, now. Okay, well, that, telling me and marking it off is two different things. So if they want me out of the work zone, they have to mark it off. No, it needs to be marked. Okay, utility work right here, police car here. Right. Cone. cone okay. Cone. Private property. Well, it's, there's an easement there. Okay, yeah, like four feet or something, right? Yeah. Like, well, 11 feet off the center. 11 feet off the center? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Look not, it up. You'll look up me. your GSR. Not, not by me. And look up and the GSR. I live in, I live in, uh, I live in Hewitt. And my... Oh, well, that's different. You're... Cuckoo. At this point, the officer tries to patiently distract the forwarder by talking to him and hoping that he'll listen to reason. But no forwarder has ever listened to reason before, nor will they ever in the future. In fact, this forwarder just gets crazier and crazier as he curses and rants and raves as no one listens to him. Let's now move to one of the forwarder's most finest moments. Call, call daddy. Call daddy. Good. <laughs> I know that's what you do. You call, call daddy. Or is it mama? Mama. <laughs> See, come on, bro. Laugh about it. I'm only out here to educate, bro. Come on. 
You guys are probably have cuckoo. beers and cuckoo. hang out all night with me. But you're being cuckoo. Come on. Stop being cuckoo. Just get out and work. I'm not going to run up behind you and choke you out. Is that what you're scared of? I got a phone in my hand. This phone's worth more than your day's work. Why the fuck would I want to break it? Come on. Get out, work. Do your job. Show your company that you know what you're doing. Right now, you guys are making it. So the cops made it look bad for Halden. And now you guys are making it look bad for PSE and G. Just get out and work. These guys are cuckoo. I know you built this, right? You built this house? These guys are cuckoo. Put them to work. You're paying them. I know you have something to do here. Put these guys to work. Mama. You gonna text so I can't hear? Mommy. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll note it for you. Hello, mother. Hello, father. There's a guy here with a camera. I'm so scared. I'm gonna poop my pants. Call a cop to come and rescue me. <laughs> come on, put your big boy pants on. Get out here. Come on. Cuckoo. Let me videotape you. Show your company you're good. You know, I got over 5,000 followers on YouTube. 10,000 on Cuckoo. TikTok. You guys are Cuckoo. looking bad. This moron has only 15 subscribers on YouTube and 1,824 followers on TikTok. I'd say he's a little short of the over 5,000 followers he claims to have on YouTube and a little short of the 10,000 followers he claims to have on TikTok. Hey Chris, who's the one looking bad? Yeah, that would be you. Okay, we've all had enough of this whack job and his rants. Here's where he gets arrested. I said, listen. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a reporter gonna, doing, a, I'm doing a, I, I'm working. That's fine. I'm working. I'm going to read something to you. Go ahead. Okay. Let's hear it. Let's Dude. hear it. Wait, is this disorder? What's the statute? Disorderly. Okay. So it's a statute, not a law. Okay. If you're, we're not playing that game. Uh, playing see that game. how he does. No, then I'm not playing that game. Okay. I'm going to hang out here. If you act dis disorderly, I'm just warning you. And I want to read the statute. Physical. No. Sorry. Physical or interfering? Improper behavior. A person is guilty of a petty disorderly person's offense if with co purpose to cause public inconvenience, annoyance, or alarm, or recklessly creating a risk thereof. He engages in fighting or threatening or in violent or tumultuous not, nothing, behavior. Nothing. Creates a hazardous or physically dangerous Lock me up, boys. By any act which serves no legitimate, legitimate <coughs> purpose of the actor. See how I know all of them? B. Offensive language. A person. Bro, I just went through there. It got kicked out of. Cuckoo. It got. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't with towards you. With it got kicked to, out of court. With purpose to offend the sensibility. You know who defended himself in court? Of the probability of so doing. You know who he defended himself in court? Out an offensively coarse or abusive language, given the circumstances of the person present and the setting of the utterance to any person present. Public means affecting or likely to affect Horrible. persons at a place to which the public or a substantial group has access. Among the places included are highways, transport facilities. Oh yeah. Why, why not? So why? I can't say mean things. You can't. You can say mean things to us. You cannot say mean oh, things to us. Oh, so the First oh. Amendment only applies to you guys, not them. It's not that. <laughs> if you want That's to your. That, wow. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now, Chris. If, like, you I, might as well lock me up now. I'm not gonna lock you up right now. I'm, if you if you break any law. Uh, right, continue, I'm not going to break a law. If you continue to do that, <laughs> if I'm going to hang out here. Okay, you, how about this? Yeah. Hey, hello, daddy. Daddy, tell him to work, daddy. Come on. Is that is that bad? You know what, Chris? You're just under arrest. Hold on. Hold on. Somebody film me. Okay. If you're being filmed right now. Okay. It's on? It's on. Okay, what, first of all, for disorderly what, conduct. Disorderly for disorderly. Conduct. Okay. I hate to tell you this. But Chris posted another video on the same day, claiming it was 20 minutes after the arrest. So if that was true, then he was probably just cited and released. In the video, the forwarder spends another 20 minutes acting crazy and belligerent at the same site. But everyone there just ignores him, and then the video suddenly ends. I know it's frustrating, but I'm sure another arrest awaits him. In the meantime, 
Here is a compilation of some very cute pets set to some cute music to hopefully lower your blood pressure and be able to come back to a more peaceful reality that doesn't include predators. If you like this video, please consider liking it and subscribing to my channel. Hope you enjoy the cute pets.